Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a super quick little video today. So basically, I haven't done a St. Patrick's Day DIY and I was like, that's a crying shame because you're Irish and it's St. Patrick's Day and you need to make a St. Patrick's Day DIY. So I'm doing a quick string art DIY and it's actually, this was my first time to do string art. So simple, basically you just need nails, wool and a backdrop. It can be wood, it can be a canvas. I used up some old, um, what you call it, wood, pallet wood because I get the pallets in work and I get them for free because the delivery guys use them so they normally just leave them behind and they kind of just get either recycled, they get disposed of, so I take them because I get the wood for free. So if you always see me use pallet wood, that is why. So let's get into the DIY and I'll have the chats after and you can see how I made my St. Patrick's Day string art art. <laughs> so for this DIY I have some pallet wood, some wool or yarn and I have a template of a shamrock as well as some panel pins. I got a shamrock shake from the pound shop um, just because I didn't have any ink in my printer to print off a shamrock but you can totally print off a shamrock from Pinterest or online. So I kind of just measured by eye roughly how many pieces of wood I was going to use. I then just glued the wood together using some wood glue. To be totally honest I was too lazy to take my drill out but drilling the pieces in of wood into the back would have been so much quicker but if you don't have a drill just use the wood glue and allow for the time for it to dry. I still haven't got my wood clamps um, so I just use some heavy teapots um, to weight down the pieces of wood while they dry it. Obviously just make sure you don't get any glue on your teapot. I then just used some white paint and I covered it, I gave it like two coats. As you can see the pallet wood, I'm not being as thorough as I would if it was like, you know, a piece of furniture. Because this is just like a decorative piece, I'm kind of just more relaxed with it. I'm not priming, I'm sim simply just popping on some paint. I popped my shamrock template in the centre of the wood and I simply went around with the hammer and the nails and I tacked in all of the little panel pins. I roughly left a finger space in between each one. So I kind of evenly spaced them out. And yeah, I just went around and simply peeled off my shamrock, temp shamrock template when I was finished. I started by doing the outline of the shamrock with the green twine. I also just tied a little knot which I was able to hide then when I was finished. And I just went around the outline before I went in and done the inside of the shamrock. So start with the outline of the shape first and then you can go in and do the inside. If you really wanted you could mix up your wool and you could do an ombre effect or if you wanted you could do a green, white and orange shamrock as well or you could do the flag. So you can get really creative so take the idea and put your own personal stamp on it. that was my first attempt at string art so if it's your first attempt as well it was easier than expected the only hard part I found was when I was trying to hammer in the nail on a knot so if you have if you're using wood and there's a knot in the wood you will notice that when you go to hammer the nail it's really hard and I actually hammered my finger um, 
it's slightly bruised <laughs> the fingernail but uh all part of the learning curve yes yeah, so don't hammer your fingers i did i didn't catch it on camera though because that would have made a funny outtake I will be back anyway before St. Patrick's Day with another video. I just wanted to put this video out a little early just in case if you wanted to make this for your home for St. Patrick's Day. The noise in the background is Blondie. She's not going to join me for this video but she's eating out of her bowl and she's making a noise over there. She's making a racket. Let me know if you have a go at making this shamrock DIY, Patrick's Day DIY. Um, I don't really decorate my house for St. Patrick's Day because it is just one day. It is a holiday day in Ireland, and um, so it's a bank holiday. And um, I spend it because, like, St. Patrick's Day is like a family kind of day in Ireland. So if you have young kids, you might go to the parade and um, generally meet up with your family. Um, the pubs do be hopping on St. Patrick's Day, which is where you will find me with my friends. Um, so it's generally just a good all around, just fun day that you just catch up with people um, and the Guinness does be flowing and um, certainly for me it does too. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you do this. Have a lovely St. Patrick's Day if I'm not chatting to you in the meantime. I will have a video up on Thursday as well anyway so you can catch me down. New to my channel, hit the sub button and if you like this video, thumbs up and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys!